ladies and gentlemen, what a glorious afternoon, what a great idea, San Diego Tennis Hall of Fame. God taught me two very, very powerful lessons. Uh, one was during my match with Yvonne Lendl. Um, I lost the first couple sets, and I, I came back, and I, I won the third and fourth set, and I started to cramp uh, severely at the end of the fourth set. Uh, I had a really, really difficult time moving around. Anytime I pushed off, my, my legs would cramp. And um, you know, at about 2-1 uh, uh, in, uh, in the fifth set, um, I started to think to myself, you know, it's not so bad if I lose this match. After all, I'm playing the number one player in the world. Um, you know, he's a three-time French Open champion, and if I just quit now, in fact, um, you know, it'll be okay because I'll, I'll go to the press conference, I'll get a lot of people to pat, pat me on the back and say, you know, it was a tough match, but it was a great effort, and I can walk off and, and feeling pretty good about that. And so I started to have this kind of compromising attitude. Um, and at 2-1 uh, in, um, in the fifth set, um, I remember being on the, on the baseline ready to uh, return serve, and. Um, uh, ready to get ready to serve, and I, I started to walk toward, toward the chair umpire. And um, as I got to the service line, uh, something stopped me in my heart. And I, and I really felt in my heart that it was, it was the Lord saying to me, Michael, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't, don't give up. And in my mind, I was like, well, well, what's the purpose anyways? You know, I've done a pretty good job. I got to the fifth set. I'm not going to win anyways. I can't move. You know, move, movement for me is, is my greatest asset on the court. I'm not going to win anyway, so what's the difference? And I started to be convicted in my, in my heart. And the Lord said to me, he said, well, do you realize that if you quit right here, right now, the second, third, fourth, fifth time you have in your life where you struggle with trials or you struggle with difficulties, it's going to be that much easier to quit. And I said, well, how am I supposed to get through this match? He says, well, that's not for you to worry about. Your job is to worry about going out and giving your 100%. Because if you give your 100%, that's all you can ask of yourself, that's all your family can ask of you, that's all people can ask of you, and that's all that I desire from you. So for you right here, right now, to finish the race, that's your job, to finish this match. I said, okay, I'll just take it point by point, take it game by game, and go from there. And all of a sudden, a strange thing happened, because I would try to shorten these points. So if I get a, a, a shot where I could go for a winner, I just, just smack it. And if I happen to hit a winner, it was great. But I have, if I happen to miss it, it was okay too, because it meant I didn't have to run anymore for the rest of that point. And all of a sudden, these balls started going in. You know, I started to lob the ball and stuff like that, and Yvonne just kind of just lobbed the ball back, and I said, huh. And all of a sudden, I started winning points. Points started turning into games. Before I, I knew it, I won the match. In the other matches that I had played, I, I really should not have won. Um, just different things have happened. And I, I really tell people that the French Open in 89 was not about Michael Chang winning the French Open. But I think there was a divine reason. And, um, and I felt like, uh, and I've shared this often with people, and that um, you know, I feel like God's purpose for me in winning the French Open was to be able to put a smile upon Chinese people's faces around the world during, their, when, during a time when there wasn't a whole lot to smile about. And I had an opportunity that final Sunday to be able to share with the people 
um, on, the t on the television and stuff like that and be able to say, you know, God bless each and every one of you, especially those in China. So to have... Thank <laughs> you.